Hello everyone, it's the me, Game Penguin 21 and today, well, JTech TV has made another interesting take video. Now, with the recent talks of things like Helldivers 2 coming back into there, and I did talk about this last week with Reforged Gaming, I wanted to talk about this video because I believe this video has been on the backlog now for at least a little while, and I have been unable to find a good place to slot it in because I've been talking about other stuff. But this video is about a month or two-ish old, and I thought that it would be good to talk about it now because, well, JTEC TV is a PlayStation fanboy, and we all know how much it's fun it is to make fun of these PlayStation fanboys. So we're going to get into this video. But first, of course, i got to get the shilling out of the way. So please, I'm looking to hit 1K by the end of the year. Please like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. It helps me get to the algorithm, and I do try to respond to comments as much as possible. You were all great. Thank you so much for the support this last few the, for these last few months. Next up, um, I do stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash gamepango 21 I don't post scheduling here because I don't stream every day, mostly on weekends, Saturday and Sunday. You can normally catch me. Just be sure to be following there to make sure you know when I go live. So please and thank you. Number three, if you want any of the music that I make, link to all that down in the description below, in the band camp specifically. I am looking to maybe release one more album by the end of this year and maybe get like a publisher for my music though unsure anyway let's get to this video i'm gonna skip past the first 20 seconds because that's just his intros so a small take on why xbox fans want helldivers 2 also i hope you guys understand that this is a video that was recorded before my live stream on Thursday, but I do acknowledge that Pentiment, Grounded, Hi-Fi Rush, and Sea of Thieves have been confirmed for Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation 4 and 5. I already know. I'm going to do a live stream about that, uh, but I do know about it. I do think it's funny. That's not what this video is about. Um, so back on topic. Uh, one of the reasons why X. Yeah, so again, to just put this into a timeline of events, he apparently recorded this beforehand, his like other live stream, I guess, which I, like, I don't even know why you would mention this or anything like that. I'm confused. But again, it's not really important to the overall topic, but if I don't interrupt him enough, like, it doesn't become enough of my video to, you know conform to fair use but again to just give a timeline of events helldivers 2 i believe was announced and there was like this whole situation with it and he just wants to talk about the whole situation i guess general summary xbox fans want helldivers 2 is because one uh phil spencer acknowledged helldivers 2 by name uh talking about how successful it was and how it doesn't benefit xbox so Xbox fans, too, thought that they could help get the game on Xbox for Phil Spencer to be happy. So then they started doing these petitions and port begging for Arrowhead Studio, only to be confirmed that the game will not be going uh, to the Xbox because PlayStation, as we already know, owns the rights. You will see all this information in front of you guys in due time during this video. I... Okay, so the information that he presents is more or less just tweets of other people talking about it. And I know that to me that's like, oh, will you show other people's tweets as well? Well, yes, I do, but I use them more as talking points. And again, JTEC does as well, so I'm not going to doubt him and, and call him out for that. But this is his quote, evidence for why you're not going to get PlayStation games. And you'll see what I mean at, towards the end, towards the middling part of this video. Now, the biggest thing here, the biggest misconception that I can see is that they didn't talk about the game coming to Xbox because Phil Spencer acknowledged that the game existed. I'm fairly certain people were asking and begging for the game even before that, just in terms of how that happens. Because, again, people want to play these types of games because they are very popular, and well, people were excited for this game. And that petition, I believe, was also started before Phil Spencer fucking said anything. Because those petitions are fucking stupid, and they happen to 
be about dumbass topics like this. If I remember correctly, there's like a few other ones that were of note was like for other PlayStation and Xbox exclusive games. And it's just like, so what? It, it doesn't it's not going to stop people from asking for games just like how you continue to say oh well pc uh port beggar th- are trying to to take our games like no we're not we're just you just got to learn to share sometimes like yeah taking the games implies that we're taking them away from you we're not because you can still buy and purchase the games on your system and platform what is the problem with people porting the games over to other platforms? That makes no sense as to why that should happen. Uh, why that shouldn't happen, I should say. Not should. I don't think I care much about their feelings. Like, they've teased PlayStation fans for multiple years with Halo and Gears. And last year, they were like, hey, you're not going to get Call of Duty after this next one. It's going to be exclusive to Xbox. You're never going to see a Doom game ever again. It's going to be exclusive to Xbox. Okay, keep your game. I've always been the type of gamer. You can check my... You sounded very... By the way, I've I've watched this video a few times just to get my thoughts across correctly. He sounded very salty when he's reading off this thing of like, oh, well, I don't really care about Xbox's feelings, and then goes on a small tangent where he is like, oh, well, they were teasing us about about not having Call of Duty and not seeing another Doom game ever again and stuff like that. And he just sounded very, very salty. Like, very salty. And I just wanted to point that out. And if you were, if they were actually teasing people, and don't be mindful, I they were actually because they thought that that was true, uh, that's fucking dumb. And getting over that, and you sound like you definitely have a chip on your shoulder because you yourself thought about this as well, or at least a little bit. So, hmm, kind of makes you wonder. I've always been a YouTube channel out for over 12 years. I've played alternative shooters to Call of Duty. What that means is I've played every other shooter except for Call of Duty. Like, I will buy all of them. I will invest in all of them. I want something different than what everybody else is playing and what everybody else is hyping up. And it is... And yet he is hyping up Helldivers 2, which everyone wants. So... That's kind of a lie. And, by the way... Quote, the alternative shooters that he would probably be talking about are other games made by smaller companies. And I hype those up as well. Absolutely. For whatever reason, I've been playing a lot of the finals recently. You might be seeing the uh, gameplay in the background right now. Because the finals to me is really fucking good. And yeah, it's a free-to-play first-person shooter, arena-type style. It is fantastic. It is lovely. It's made by a very good indie studio. Go play this right now. It is free. Like, goddamn it, this game's good. But I digress. This also comes from a place of love of shooters, and I don't feel that in the same sense here, at least not from JTEC. And yeah, saying, oh, I don't play Call of Duty because I want something different in my whole 12 years. I've never actually played Call of Duty. Congratulations, you decided to be a hipster for whatever reason. Like, it's not the worst thing to see people don't... that. It's not, like, the weirdest thing, not the worst. It, like, it's not the weirdest thing to see people not like Call of Duty. Because there are a lot of people who just don't like Call of Duty. It's not your cup of tea. Congratulations, go play something else. And... Using that as, like, a point against people is stupid, right? Saying, like, oh, I don't like Call of Duty, therefore my opinion is better than yours. Like, that's not a good point. And also, this is clearly an appeal to false authority on him trying to be the, quote-unquote, objective truth when it comes to this sort of thing. Which, again, as we all know, as PlayStation fanboy, I don't really trust that opinion. really awesome that Helldivers... Is finally that game for a lot of people that like shooting games, that like military games. Um, it's it's a game I've been talking about since last year, and I think that it had that secret sauce, it had that magic that I haven't seen since Monster Hunter, uh, which again that game blew up too. Um, I 
I think Monster Hunter, yes. The primo first person slash third person type shooter game. What? I think it's awesome that we have this game. I, I don't think it's fair that PlayStation has to give this game up to the Xbox platform um, because they're bored with Halo. But why, though? Like, why is that not fair? That makes no... it Because... Well, oh, boy. So, first of all, you're saying that a co-op S, live service game, not coming to another platform is unfair to you because why like that's never really explained in this video and i'm not gonna let you get past that but like why is it not fair that other people get to play this game that you enjoy if you enjoy the game so much you would want more people to play it no and not be like a fucking stupid ass gatekeeper like, for me, I play a lot of D&D, &D, and I like D&D &D a lot. I'm in a weekly game right now. We had to take a break this week because the DM needed a mental health day. So, uh, go again, I'm chief. But here's the thing, right? I love D&D, &D, but I want other people to play D&D &D because I love it so much and because I find it fun. Just like how I would recommend things like The Finals. Or or uh, or Battlebit Remastered, or hell, even Call of Duty if it ever wins my trust back, because they're games that I enjoy. By the way, I fucking called a while ago that um, Siege would be pretty big. Uh, so pat on myself back there, but it's like whatever. Anyway, not important. What is important is the fact that you find it unfair that other people who didn't buy the same plastic box that you did get to play a game that you enjoy. I don't understand this logic. They're bored with Gears? They don't want to play Call of Duty anymore? They don't like Doom or it's too difficult for them? I mean, these four games I just named, they're yours now. Halo, Call of Duty, Doom... Gears of War, they're your games. Play your games. Like this is if you if you're focusing on Helldivers 2. But like they're older titles, at least in terms of that, and the newer ones aren't as good. And also gamers like new shiny game thing. We want new shiny game thing. Like that's just how it works, and that's how this has worked the entire time. And again, I do not want to hear a fucking peep out of any PlayStation fanboy after this whole situation with Helldivers 2, where the Xbox gets an exclusive game that they want, and they're like, oh, why does Xbox get to keep it, and it's going to fail because it's going to flop onto this platform? You should bring it over here because we'll actually buy the game. I don't want to fucking hear anyone complain about that. Like, that's so stupid to complain about. More people playing the game that you enjoy is not a bad thing. By any means. At all. So, you know. Also, that's like a six point difference in terms of percentages, which, that's not a lot. You know, it's only from like 70, what, 74, 73 that it becomes mixed. So interesting notion i guess and you're watching playstation gamers and pc gamers play this game i think it's time for you to buy a playstation or build a pc it's very simple waiting for you know buy a pc that's pre-built that you know is a little bit more expensive but is definitely a recommendation if it's your first pc or you can probably get a laptop to see if you like it or you can, you know, build a custom PC with parts and things because doing that research is very, very easy and stuff like that. Also, I find it funny how JTEC TV is recommending people build a PC. I don't think that that dude even knows what a good PC is if I, like, threw a 3070 or a, like, 4080 at his head and he's like, oh, well, that thing's trash. I don't think that he... I wouldn't trust him on recommendations for PC stuff. So, just saying.
It's me personally. For the scenario that will never happen, where Helldivers goes to Xbox, it's, it's not good for your health. Again, remember, the threats, the teasing, all of that stuff was against the PlayStation fanboys, right? But not also, you need to understand, that stuff was seen by PlayStation executives, Sony executives, and everybody involved in the court case for the Activision Blizzard deal. They're definitely not letting you have this game. They were taunted in court. Um, wait, what? Hold, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck do you mean? What the what the fuck did you just say? Huh? First off, how do you know this? Like, how how are you so certain that that's what happened and that was, was that's what was being talked about during that? Oh, the community on PlayStation or Xbox. Uh, the community on PlayStation is actually much more confined and better, and the, and the Xbox community just is not appreciative of our games. What the fuck? What? That's not. That's not what was happening during that case. And a lot of people were following that case pretty closely, and a lot of people were making fun of specific aspects, which he's going to bring up in a second. But that's not at all what was brought up no one ever brought in like a whole handful of tweets handed them to the judge and was like here's all of our evidence as to why call of duty shouldn't be exclusive and it's just a bunch of people being like oh we'd want call of duty to be that way and blah 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 and that call of duty will be exclusive because that's not what the fucking point of the case was and it's also like hearsay arguments in a court of law because there are stuff that other people said about the company when it's not actually about the company. Like, that's not, that's complete hearsay. That's actually legitimately what I think it is. I'm not actually a lawyer, so, 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 yeah. But anyway, let's continue with this point here, I guess. This train of logic, as you will. That they probably wouldn't be able to create a competitor or something as exciting as Call of Duty um, in 10 years. And it took less than, I don't know, eight months for Helldivers to come out since those taunts, since those teasings. And it's a runaway success. And you just have to deal with it. At this okay, so because they were, quote, taunted in court, that means that these people who are willing to buy your game, these consumers who are willing to buy your game and who have wanted your, this game for a while, they don't deserve the game. Because they were critical of the stuff that they said in court, which was mostly public record, mostly, uh, that means that they don't deserve a game. You do realize that I am also very critical of this, and I still buy and purchase Xbox and PlayStation games without any question if I so choose. Because that's not how that works. To I know that this was supposed to be a villain, and we're kind of using Call of Duty examples, but the thing and the problem that I'm having here is that if you police people's, like, thoughts and critiques, that's kind of bad. Because if you are unable to disagree with people, like, that's not how progress is made, you know? At least that's not, at least that's how I think it's, like, that way. Now, there's another, like, minute of this video uh, but that's basically his three points there, so I'm going to call it at that. Uh, the basic three points that he seems to be thinking as to why they don't deserve it is because, one, they were port-begging. Two, they, quote, insulted and harassed or taunted, like, PlayStation and the company and PlayStation fanboys, therefore they don't deserve it. And three, because Phil Spencer mentioned it, like... How are you sane? Like how are how are you how are you saying this unironically? That again, because the game is exclusive to your platform, another platform doesn't deserve it because that is quote unfair to the PlayStation people. Because why? Because you you don't get the cool sticker that says it's a PlayStation exclusive because it's not 
good of an idea, even though it would make Sony a lot of fucking money. Like, what? It would also encourage competition as well, in some regards. I don't understand this logic. Anyway, I think that that'll about do it in this um, in this thing with this sort of catch up with JTech TV here. Again, I'm unsure if I've covered this before. I'm 90% certain that I haven't, so this video will go up. If I have, I might take uh, down this video and put up the other one or whatever, but I don't think that I've covered this. Anyway, but yeah. If you like what it is that I do, you want to support me in any way, shape, or form, links down to everything in the description below, links to my music, to the Bandcamp down in the description, link to the Twitch down in the description, twitch.tv slash gamepanguin 21 I am looking to hit 1k subscribers by the end of this year. Please and thank you, hit that like, comment, and subscribe buttons. You do all the annoying stuff that anyone else was doing it for. Thank you so very much for watching. My name is gamepanguin 21 JTEC, please get a better hobby than just complaining into, well, the void, I guess and just doing some live streams, and a peace. Ah. Oh.